Now, your new book uh, wasn't really what I was expecting. Uh, I expected a kind of, um, you know, here's my mother's wisdom. You know, uh -huh. And there's a lot of that in the book. Mm -hmm. But really, it's a very honest portrayal uh, of your relationship uh, with your wonderful mom, Hilda, uh, especially as she aged. And I guess my first question is, was it hard for you to write such a personal book uh, about that relationship between you and your mother? Yeah. You know, it was the hardest book I've ever written. And I... You know, my mother has been gone about, well, be 15 years in April. And the year after she died, I thought, you know, I'd love to write about my mother, what I learned from her. You know, I just was so impressed with how she approached her aging and death. And then every time I thought about it, I just was filled with this grief. And I thought, well, I'll just wait another year and this will be gone. And, you know, it just never happened. And finally, I thought, about five years ago, I thought, you know, I'm either going to write this book or not right now. I'm just, just going to forget about it. And, you know, when I wrote Praying Our Goodbyes, I knew that to grieve well, one has to really enter into it. And I just wasn't wanting to enter into that. And so when I did, I just, I had to face a lot of things. You know, there were some regrets I had, and I had to look at what does, besides the the wonderful things my mother taught me, you know, what did I miss, you know, on aging, and and the vulnerability, my own vulnerability with readership. You know, I just thought, I've, I've got to be honest about this, and if I am, hopefully it's not like, you know, bleeding on the pages, but rather it's really just presenting, this is, this is how this happened in my process of looking at, at my mother's journey and my being with her in that, and and how aging became very difficult for this woman that I, I felt and knew her as really resilient and courageous. You know, her last 10 years of her life, her motto was, fly while you still have wings. And she lived life with gusto, you know, but then um, she became, she had so many different health issues. And it, that was really hard for her to move from doing to being. She didn't know how to do that, which most of us don't know how to do. Right. Yeah. Well, my novice director used to say, a lot of us are human doings instead of human beings, and yeah. we have to learn how to be. Mm -hmm.